Good. Uh, so I guess we got to turn this one this way. Fine. What's up, YouTube? Rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while we're recording. Well, we had it. Oh, mother. Okay, here we go. We got two more to go. Oh no, now it's back. You good? Why does it say you can rotate? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg's trying to work on the metaverse. I'm like, work on your damn old oh, no, It's always 90 degrees rotated. What is that? It, no matter what you do, it rotates 90 what degrees. <laughs> hey, the reason crypto is not going to crash because there's a lot of stupidity. What is that? What garbage is this? Okay. I think, I think Rick, turn off the geo thing, like yes. lock the screen. Let's and do then this okay. way. Yeah. Okay, let's look here, Alex. All right. it's a little creepy. What's up, Twitter? What's up, Instagram? We're on Clubhouse, Twitter, Speaky. We're talking about right here. Will crypto crash? Is this the top? Minus, you probably see me somewhere on the, on, in the world. Maybe you didn't like Just seeing me. At but that's okay. Just let it adjust. We're gonna be, that's fucked. I would just start over the Facebook one. That's a fucked up, and delete it. So we're watching the world of tech. Charlie Munger says, if it wasn't for the stupidity of other people, you wouldn't be able to get rich. There's a lot of stupidity. iMessage hasn't figured out how to do good groups like WhatsApp. Even Apple's stupid. Slack has a horrible mobile app. WhatsApp doesn't sort by unreads. So we're talk. We're going to talk about DeFi and the whole world and the disrupt disruption that's happening in the world, in the crypto space. But don't think it's just happening there. It's also happening in just business in general. So my name's Fai Lopez. This is my business partner in a lot of my ventures, Dr. Alex Mayer. He's a smart guy. He's got a PhD in systems engineering, and he now lives and breathes crypto. So. He's a physics guy. He worked for NASA. I'm a college dropout, but occasionally I have good ideas. So Alex, let's, as we wait for Facebook, you, did you turn it sideways and start? I'm gonna keep it that way. Okay, that's fine. Just keep it one way. Yeah, but you gotta start it. What's up, Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg metaverse is having temporary issues. Look at how that looks, it's crazy. Yeah. So question, first question for you, Alex. What's, What's the most exciting thing for you in the entire world? DeFi. Of DeFi. Somebody says, Ty, you got nothing, Ty. You're just a guru. Bitch, I own Radio Shack, Pier One, Models, Dress Barn, Steinmark. We're the second largest shareholder. We're shareholder activists. We own Wilhelmina Models. We own Ralph and Russo. Shit, you're outdated, bitch. You're still talking about when I only had a Lamborghini. That's what people thought. I bought my first business in 2003. <laughs> people yeah, know. Nobody. Doesn't take a genius to buy Bitcoin and hold. Yes, so you got your major coins for all of you who know. I know we have, a, I know all of you who already know about crypto. Just bear with us for a second. If you ever do anything elementary, they're like, I already know that. No shit, but for crypto to work, the whole world has to adopt it. I had some guy on Twitter be like, oh, told me I bought crypto at 100 bucks. Well, shit, I know people who bought it at 30. There's always someone newer than you. And the whole point of crypto DeFi is DeFi, decentralization of finance. So right now, what's the problem in crypto? A few people control most of the wallets. So don't, don't get too high on your horse. All you old school crypto people who have been in it from the beginning, I give you hats off as the great geniuses that you are. But don't think other people don't need to come in and make it popular. You need mass adoption. Or is your goal the replication of fiat concentration? Fiat is concentrated. Ten men in the world have more net worth than the bottom uh, four billion people. Is that a good thing? It's not a good thing. Study what the Jenny index is. Well, the same thing is happening in crypto. So the replication of everything that people didn't want has already come over. So all of you people who have been in crypto, I give you your hats off for your early vision. But don't think that other people coming to talk about it is somehow hurting you. You know, you should, everybody should read the book Crossing the Chasm. It's a very famous book. And it's about the mass adoption of anything and how it works. It's a site there. You have early adopt, you have pioneers, then early adopters. You have a chasm and you have the pragmatists that come in. And then you have the highly conservative people who are last. 
Now, Alex, what's your most ex what's the most exciting project right now? I already know the answer, but what would you tell everybody? Like I said, those are on Facebook. This is my business partner, Dr. Alex Mayer. He's a smart guy. He's a PhD in in systems engineering and built rocket ships at NASA. Before becoming, he sold his business for three hundred million dollars. Zeus two years ago, right in the New York Stock Exchange bell. Me and him own a whole bunch of assets together, real estate. We just closed yesterday on 185 acres of farmland of about 1,100. We're trying to save the world, not just by sending people to Mars, but also by healing the earth that we live in right now. So my first business was agriculture. So Alex, what's your favorite project? I mean, I see a few names that I like. I saw um, AVAX, Olympus, FTM, those, I mean, they're, all you know, blockchain projects, FTM is pretty, looking pretty good. Polygon Matic Network, used to be called Matic Network, is pretty interesting. I like the swaps. Yeah. I like DeFi uh, 2.0 projects, like Olympus, Klima. Alex loves Olympus, Klima. Yeah. We've got a project we're working on right now. By the way, if you happen to be a Solidity coder, we're interested. Someone said, are you trying to sell me a course? No. No. Did you notice <laughs> this was free? <laughs> this dude thought our Instagram live was a course. Yeah, I see Avalanche, some some people typing. Dexas are interesting. Come, come, I'm gonna connect on your phone. Okay. Come follow me and I'll make you a split screen. Shiba coin, what do you think of the meme coins? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, there's things called meme coins. Meme coins would be like Doge. What's the most, probably Doge, Doge is the is most the biggest, yeah. famous one, okay? Yeah. But now there's a new one. There's a new kid in town, oh, gee, and if you had put in like a thousand bucks, some wallet put in a thousand bucks or whatever, I forget the damn thing. I just sent a request. To Somebody put a teeny bit of money and has like one billion dollars in their wallet. Now I'm not sure if it's the if it's the I'm it not, might who knows. Yeah, There's I'm a lot of shady sure shit that yeah, happens. That's right. It might be the person who it might be the original dude being yeah. Anyway, we won't get into the conspiracy theories. Right. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't see you, Dave. Uh, should be a request. Go live in a room. Okay, there, there. Hey, let's bring Nina in. Nina, come follow me. Ty's hair looks like a Head and Shoulders commercial. <laughs> Why? It's just I had my hair up. I'm in. We're in Puerto Rico. Um. So somebody wishes somebody wishes they could short Shiba. Would you short the meme coins? No. Yeah, because Elon Musk will destroy you. Anything that Alex says they mental. don't like you, they want a pretty girl. I went live with a pretty girl the other day, and that was apparently more exciting. Damn, it's, Facebook's way higher than normal. That's interesting. One thousand. No, no, no. Oh, stars! I'm earning stars. One thousand stars received. Well, what's one thousand stars mean? One penny. <laughs> Who's ever seen The Office when Dwight Schrute has Dwight Schrute bucks? He's like, one Schrute, 1,000 Schrute bucks is five minute break at work. So uh, what is 1,000 of the metaverse? Who likes, who's your favorite billionaire? Is it Zuckerberg? No one seems to like Zuckerberg. Elon Musk is, who's the, who's the most hated billionaire? How many billionaires do you think there are in crypto that don't want anybody to know they're a billionaire because they don't want the At least who doesn't. At least who doesn't. That people right. don't want to know. Minimal. Because some because the way the US IRS is gonna come after crypto. Mark my words. They're gonna come after crypto. You gotta stay a little bit over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're an American citizen, it's gonna be a son of a bitch. If you all of a sudden if, if last week, last year you were delivering newspapers, because there's quite a few billionaires potentially that are like sixteen years old in crypto. So if they go from delivering newspapers two years ago and all of a sudden they're flying to high school in a helicopter, the IRS is gonna be like, where did you get that damn money? And they're gonna charge, <laughs> somebody's gonna get in trouble with the IRS. So there's a lot of undercover billionaires in crypto that are just laying low. Okay, Ansa Musa, he crashed gold. Is this, you're talking about in history, I was talking about right now, who's your favorite? Now, Alex. Crypto top. I get haters on Twitter like, Ty, you called the top. I'm like, what's your definition of the top? Because I did my first live stream with crypto in August 2017. And Twitter was around, I'm sorry, Twitter. Bitcoin was sub 
and Instagram, uh, at, God damn it, ETH was like 290. Now, what's the ETH right now? 45, 4,400. 4, yeah. So if I call tops, shit, and let there be more tops like that. Let there be more tops. My recommendation to everybody in 2017, and see people said, oh, you stopped doing all your YouTube and Facebook. Dude, I got blocked. YouTube and Facebook completely blocked anybody who was running ads about crypto. It was crazy. So now we can talk about it. I've been busy the last two years just buying companies, mainstream companies. We're, we're turning Radio Shack into a blockchain company. The original American tech company, 100 years old. We're turning Franklin Mint, the most well-known collectible company in the last 60 years. We're turning into NFT play. So we've been buying legacy brands and we're pivoting them into this new world of tech slack somebody says dogecoin is for noobs shit you call it i don't know is elon musk a noob <laughs> if elon musk is a noob how do the real question then is how do, can i become a noob yeah Todd, okay <laughs> what hardware hard wallet do you like alex i actually don't use hardware wallets yes i think they they are more likely to fail honestly Yes. And there are horror stories of uh, hardware wallet fail failures. So. Ty, you look like Johnny Depp on speed. That's <laughs> on a half speed. compliment, and then you had to take the comp. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I look like Johnny Depp. Passive aggressive. You. <laughs> You're like Johnny Depp. But so I'm what's speed. your, let's talk about exchanges, centralized exchanges. Yeah. Let me, I'm gonna give you all the beginner stuff, and Alex likes to speak in PhD talk. So you have, centralized places to buy cryptocurrency. I think right. the most well-known by far is Coinbase. Right. It's centralized. Then you have decentralized. Okay, what's your favorite centralized? Coinbase Pro is good. Pro, not the normal Coinbase. The fees Coinbase high. Pro. Yeah. The professor it's has pro spoken. Dot Coinbase dot by the way, if you disagree with us, speak up. Speak up. Well, I can handle it. I got thick skin. Any of you, once you get over about 5 million social media followers, you better have thick ass skin. Because <laughs> all the 120 pound dudes in the world that are five foot four come in their basements and they're like, I will have revenge <laughs> on all other men who have women or a Lamborghini. So I will get you back with my fingers. So I have thick skin from that. So who disagrees with that? Somebody Coinbase said, why Pro. Pro. Somebody said, why, why Pro? Pro? The fees are lower. You fees try, are lower. Just side by side try. <laughs> is it a lot lower? Is Robinhood good? Um, I haven't I haven't used Robinhood. They're a newer like for small entrance. money, maybe, yes. but I think if you have Dr. Alex Mayor money, he Coin, sold he sold his company for three hundred million bucks Coinbase a couple of years. Pro he, is pretty solid product. Like you can not improve on that. Binance. Somebody. Binance knows. is good, but if you're American. Yeah. You gotta get the Binance. US Binance is America. not a, yes. Okay. It's a different store. Someone said, Ty, I made up 1.4 million from your Airbnb course with Braden. Good job. Nice. My top student I was talking to today, I don't even want to say, because I haven't verified it, but he's been making a lot of money for three years. But this year, he said he made 355 gross million. He's a baller. Uh, occasionally, all you that think my courses don't work all the time. I had to hire somebody to collect and verify. I had a full-time lawyer verifying all the testimonials. All right, I'll put my hair back up. All the men, all you men <laughs> yeah, that are they're concerned they're by another man's hair. <laughs> I will put it back up. I'm in Puerto Rico, so it gets curly. Someone says you can use a VPN and use Binance. Sure, I mean, yeah. whatever. Coinbase Pro is good. I haven't used Binance, so I don't know. What about Gemini? Gemini is good. Gemini is good, but it has a lot of uh, caps on it. So you can, I mean, maybe you can increase the cap or whatever, but I, it's just so low, I can't use it. Kraken is good. Kraken. 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 <laughs> okay, let me, let me view, let me bring somebody up here. KuCoin is good for coins that are kind of like not available on uh, Coinbase. Yeah. You know? Alex is a little bit like my brother, Jacob. He's so much an introvert and goes in his own world that he doesn't always know how to pronounce things, but he does know a lot about them. 
My brother Jacob used to be there. What's up? Who is this on Instagram? I'm harder to get a hold of than the damn president. What'd you say? I'm harder to get a hold of than the president? So, do you think, what's your name again? Zach, man, you invited me to your house when you lived in Beverly Hills in 2017. Awesome, man, are you in the crypto world? Yeah, you, um, I came to your Bitcoin panel. Oh, nice. We, we had a good discussion about XRP. So what, let's talk about XRP. XRP, Alex, let's talk about it. You two talk about it, Alex. XRP is a coin that is that one of those coins that people have been talking, about, been talking about forever. Ever. <laughs> and how it's going to change the banking world. And I mean, do nice. any banks use, I, I heard yeah. Asian banks use it. What's, what's your take? Speak loud because I'm going to put this up here. What's, what do you think of XRP? Sure. So my thing is, is like with XRP, you know, like we talked about at the house, you're saying like, you know, it's, it's more centralized. So it's all the banking coin. And people are always saying like, oh, it's a centralized coin in a decentralized world. So it doesn't belong. My thing was, Ty, you know, I, I made, you know, 1.2 million off that in 2017, mainly because when I found that they got their, their virtual currency license out of the state of New York to be in beta testing with some of the world's biggest banks, like MUFG, which is, I believe, the Japan's and world's third biggest bank. Yep. So where, when they were in beta testing with them, you know, in Santander and all kinds of other stuff, that's the reason why. Where have they know, progressed I, I, I since then? To that. Where have so they progressed I think that recently? XRP, you know, is more governed um, and is more the banking coin. You, you have like Bitcoin Cash, okay. which is supposed to be like a centralized crypto. Yep. But I think XRP is probably going to be the bank's coin. I mean, you have X Rapid, X Current. I mean, you have these other payment protocols in the X in the in the Ripple network. So uh, and it's still withstanding. And obviously, when you look at the prior high, which is like just below four bucks. And uh, it's still pushing volume. Obviously, it's it's gonna reach. Look at you. Look at the world's most like all the world's money, right? It's like a hundred trillion. Yep. And when you look at how much money's in crypto right now. It's only like three trillion. Alex, and what's the damn? What's the supply of money right now? Have you looked recently? Uh, it's like a hundred billion or something. No, 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 no not no, million. No, 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 the supply of money. Like we're talking like money. Like, 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 like ten total, trillion. Like, it's like M zero. I can look at M zero is 10 trillion. I think so. Yeah. So there's various ways of measuring global economy. You can do global net worth, which includes real estate. That becomes a crazy number, like 300 trillion. And then there's various measurements. Okay, dude, yeah. we'll have to connect. No, they're not yeah. planning. Somebody says they're planning to pump. Hey, Ty, trillion. yo, uh, just message me in my DM. I'll shoot you my email. Okay. Let's talk more, man. I haven't talked to you in a while, bro. So good talking to you, man. Yeah, I got to get going. It's late. I'm about to go to bed. But hey, I appreciate you getting me on the video. It was good seeing you, dude. I love the hair. Good seeing <laughs> you, man. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ty. I'm out of here, brother. Thank you. All right, man. See, I don't even know how to take people off anymore, but there we go. He took himself off. Someone said it. They think Cardano is headed in that direction. What's your take on Cardano? Hey, I mean, what do you think of Cardano, Monero, all of the XRP? These are the Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. These used to be at the top. I mean, there. I mean, Litecoin. I looked the other day. It's like ten billion market cap or something like that. Why do you think? Why is Litecoin at ten billion? I have no idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that like makes no sense. It's, so, at 13 billion. it's at thirteen billion. billion. Yeah, it's like ten billion. Bucks. Okay, I have a question for everybody here. All you geniuses are way smarter than us. <laughs> why is Litecoin at ten billion? Just come on, Twitter. Twitter has all the geniuses. Speculation. People are sleeping on XRP, somebody says. Do you think XRP will become the banking coin of the future? No. Okay. I mean, if you had all the time in the world to do it. I gotcha. Anything. Someone said Litecoin is the silver of crypto. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. But silver has some like usage. Like, for example, necklace. Even if it's just decorative, the Spanish empire was built on the silver mines of Potosi, Bolivia. I've been there. The Spaniards came, I believe it was the 1500s. They set up mines for silver and they took so much silver out of, the, out of the ground. They killed all the Indians, all the native Quechua and all this. They said they could have built a physical bridge from Bolivia to Spain with all they pulled out of the ground over whatever, a century or two. 
And silver has some actual usage. It's a malleable metal when you heat it and blah, blah, blah. Of course, it's decorative and so on and so forth. But what is Litecoin's usage? Nothing. It is just like Bitcoin, but <laughs> yeah, the different version. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. And it's that's okay. Like, Some know, things, look, currency, fiat currency is, is based it, upon it, confidence right. of the bearer and the, uh, the person who holds it is confident. If you go back to Medici times, I mean, right. when the beginning of modern banking and currency is all built on confidence. So it's okay if Dogecoin is only valuable because other people find it valuable. Right. But just realize that can make it volatile. Things that now let's talk about things we think have utility, Alex. Yeah. What is something you like? What's a project? I like uh, I, a lot of DEXs. I still am very bullish on. Okay. So one inch is one that I really like. Yeah. These are decentralized exchanges. Yeah. You have your coin bases, which are your centralized. Binance is kind of its own special conversation. Yeah. One uh, inch is a DEX aggregator. So it sits on top of decentralized exchanges and finds the best rate and divides and makes the best swap. Yes. Um, there's a quick swap I really like on Polygon Network. Um, Uniswap is obviously the big guy. What do you think of Sushi? Sushi is great. I mean, it passes trading fee. What is that sound? I don't it know. It passes. It's one of the- Someone on speakeasy. Oh, yeah. someone on speakeasy needs to mute themselves. Go ahead. Yeah, so it passes the trading fees back to sushi holders in what they call a sushi bar. It's pretty awesome. It's like you know, I actually ate sushi. Portable. Who's confused between sushi? Sushi.com does not take you to what I ate. Where is the damn sushi I had? Look, I've got something. If you go to sushi.com, you will not be able to buy wasabi. This is what's my wasabi thing. Sushi.com, let's explain, explain, because a lot of people still think in fiat. Right. Okay. Fiat, by the way, for those of you who are super noobs, that's what they call you, by the way. All the awesome people in crypto that are so cool, they call everybody else noobs. Isn't that a fucking passive aggressive thing? Or boomers. Crypto world. Or boomers. Crypto world. Wake the fuck up. If, if you got, and a lot of you try to pretend you're not in it for the money, but if you really want to make money, okay, I never believe people that are like, I trade coins, but it's not for the money. I do it for the the altruism of trading my coins. Bitch, then give all your money away. Don't try to fucking fool me. So, but anyway, for those of you who want there to be mass adoption and change in the world, you can't be calling people noobs unless you're a dickhead. If you come to the gym to work out and you're out of shape, I'm not like, yo, bitch ass weakling, come work out with me. Nobody wants to work out with you. So. Crypto, like I said, it's full of people with a lot of insecurities and mental illness. Uh, some of them geniuses, but a lot of them are very insecure. So if you are new to crypto, I will call you a respectful name. Okay, It's okay to be new to something. It's okay. You know who is new to building cars? Elon Musk. And if Ford's like, oh, you fucking noob to car building, he's like, bitch, I destroyed you. So be careful, all you noob callers. You may be destroyed by the new entrance into the game. It may be destroyed. NASA, I was like, oh, who's this oh, guy that's going to build a company, SpaceX? We've been doing this since the 1960s. Look at this noob. And SpaceX is like, can figure out what they never did. So I know all of you a little bit cocky, but, you know, chill with the noob thing. So going back to this. There is a concept called a centralized exchange. And what people generally use this for is to buy crypto with US dollars. Okay? Yes, fiat the, on wrap. They call it fiat on wrap. Fiat on -wrap. is an old term yeah. related to what people used to call currency, US dollars. Okay, so if you have US dollars and you want to buy your first crypto, generally you're going to a central exchange. An example of that is Coinbase or Gemini, made by two twins who started Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg, okay? Now, there's something else, these decentralized exchanges uh, perform, they're generally used, A, by more advanced people. Like sure. my mom does not start on, you know, 
she starts with Coinbase. Right. Now, Alex. For somebody who's watching, what should they use for their first, to move from a Coinbase to a decentralized exchange? Yeah, Thanks. I mean, the good news is now there's, a, there's an exchange, a swap function built in MetaMask. So yes. for those of you guys who have been buying crypto in Coinbase, step number two for you is to install MetaMask in your Chrome or Brave browser, either one of those, and just send ETH from Coinbase to your own MetaMask. And then there's a swap function on Ethereum network that is a that is a swap aggregator, meaning you just say, I want to exchange my ETH for blah, blah, token, you know? And then it just goes and finds the best rate, gives you a code, you, you say approve, pay gas, and it is swapped. So it's like, that's step number two. You don't even need to go to a uh, swap to make that happen. Somebody said, Ty, you've gotten weird, man. <laughs> you know what I always say whenever people say, Ty, you're weird? I go, Einstein had this saying, the thing about smart people is they seem weird to dumb people. So there's, a, I may be weird or you may just be dumb. There's two options in that <laughs> equation. So that's why I don't call too many people weird because I'm like, maybe I'm just stupid and they know something I don't know. Um, okay, so you can swap things and right. this is what people do. MetaMask is probably the second place a person should learn. Exactly. Like if I was training right. my mom, yes. I probably start with Coinbase because Coinbase has like customer support. Right. Which like forgot password. <laughs> yeah, and a forgot password. Okay, you gotta be careful on things like MetaMask. If you forget your password, right. you're gonna have a bad day. You're gonna make a million dollars and you cannot log into it, okay? Just so you know. So it's a real thing. How much money is locked up that people can't access? Google it real quick. There's some <laughs> hilarious number. I mean, there's, it's not even hilarious. I knew a guy who flew to England and he had a business partner who had, I forget what it was, it was like $40 million and could not find how to unlock it. So they flew, I was in England and the dude flew all the way there. He had, there's like a phrase, just so you all know. So it's crypto decided to use a more complicated concept than a password. MetaMask. It's a private key. It's private key. Hundreds of millions of dollars. How huh? much? Hundreds of millions of dollars, at least two. Oh, it's million. way more. No, no more, than more than that. Than more than hundreds of millions. I mean, it's hard to know because yes. how do you know if a wallet is inactive or the password is, or the private key is lost? There's no way to know. Yeah. How do you pay taxes on MetaMask gains? Well, this whole world of yeah. what the IRS is gonna do. It's gonna be very confusing. It's gonna be very complicated because if you've ever watched Congress people, they're like 6,000 years old and they have a hard time like logging into an iPad. Yeah. So that's the Plus problem. Plus the problem is things don't exchange for fiat. So there's no cost basis. There's not, I mean, it's, it's a very complicated concept. For so, those of you who don't know much about taxes, you have your cost basis in something. That generally means that what your post-tax dollars you put into something. So let's say you have a salary, you make a hundred grand in a year after taxes, you have $70,000. Let's say you had no expenses magically and you put all $70,000 into buying a house, for example. Okay, and then you did a loan on the rest. That 70,000 you injected in was, you'd already pay taxes on it that establishes a tax basis. So if you eventually sell the house for a million bucks, not all of it is gains because the way the IRS does it is the 70,000 you put in was non-deductible when you put it in. People are confused about that. Yeah. Post-tax dollars put into an investment are generally not tax deductible unless right. there's complex things like depreciation. Right. Certain things in the United States, you can massively do something called accelerated depreciation. But as one of my mentors told me, don't forget depreciation is an actual real cost. So sometimes people are like, oh, I get depreciation. Well, you get depreciation on things like houses and buildings and equipment that do fall apart. So anyway, um, yeah, not to get too complicated, but MetaMask is step two for step two. new people. I'm not gonna yeah. call you noobs. By the way, everybody's a noob compared to whoever is the genius who came up with the initial project, which nobody knows, the Satoshi guy. So there's, there's everybody's new in this game of money. And one day your great grandkids are gonna look back and be like, shit, you thought all that stuff was good? 
They're gonna have, they're gonna be quantum computing that's gonna just make everything we're doing now look stupid. So that's why I said all of you who are been in the game for a while, who have that kind of mentality, have a whole language of talking down to new people, like fuck, people are gonna talk down to your ass too. You're gonna look prehistoric too. What do I think about G GameStop and AMC? That's a different conversation. Show me the bookshelves. I am in Puerto Rico right now. I left California, too high of taxes and other problems. Satoshi is the Federal Reserve. Do you believe in that conspiracy theory? <laughs> who believes? So Satoshi is this name for this person who theoretically came up with Bitcoin, the original kind of white paper. And, but there's many theories as to who this person is. Who's the dude who claimed it was about him? Remember that guy? The British guy? No, no. Yeah. There's a few people that have claimed it was them. There's other people who say it is the U.S. government. Uh, what's another theory somebody has? Who is the originator? Craig Bobby Wright Bobby. is the one. Yes, Craig Wright says he was the one. Craig something. Satoshi is a CIA experiment. experiment. Yeah. I doubt it. You know how smart you had to be to come up with this? CIA don't have that level of horsepower. I don't believe it. Unless they had, maybe they had blackmail on some genius and they're like, you have, I've heard people say it's Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt he, that. He was slow to jump on the crypto track, yeah. so. Thoughts on Safe Moon? Yeah, I, I, it's one of those that took off big time. Speculative. Yeah. The wrong way to, to say Think it. of it, there's two types of crypto or blockchain projects, specifically coins, their uh, tokens. There's kind of crazy speculative ones that nobody knows why they exist and they're valuable because other people, and then other people think they're more value. That's called the greater sucker theory. Warren Buffett speaks on this, okay? Number two, there's ones that have utility. So somebody was talking about Matic or ETH. Yeah. ETH you have Ethereum, the blockchain, then you have ETH, right. okay? Native currency. Yeah, the native. And on that native, you it has a use. That ETH, you kind of pay it to run a process. Right. I'm giving you really simple. So like NFTs, if you bought a piece of art that was an NFT, um, you're gonna have to pay a little fee. And so that kind of coin has value or more likely to have value. There are, trans there's, you, there are transactions that are happening during some co commercial activity. So yes. buying an NFT is a commercial activity and the transaction cost is paid in ETH. So that's- But there's other yeah. types, there, yes. there's other things. Right now, the, they call these the gas fees, okay? Um, but there's other ways of transacting on a blockchain. Not everything has a gas fee. And for those of you who are, this talk is more for beginners. So we're trying to break it down and make it, because we believe, unlike most people who talk down to newbies, and some people say we're noobs, which is fine. I always like to be underestimated. You know what the art of war says, Sun Tzu? When strong, appear weak. When strong, appear weak. When people are like, oh, Ty, you faked having a Lamborghini in order to get a lot of, I'm like, great, if that's what I got. I had my first Italian car in 2006 but I didn't want to tell people that because the controversy was good for me. Got me 9 million followers. Fuck this dude, but I will follow him. It was free PR, greatest PR on earth is to have people speculate. Now people speculate if I'm on steroids. That's the new thing on red. I'm like, bro, I ain't that big looking. Does this look like I'm on steroids? By the way, the greatest compliment men give men in their semi well, I won't say that, but <laughs> men on men love is to accuse you of being on steroids, but it's great to have when strong appearance. So let's just pretend we're absolute newbies. Let's pretend Alex knows nothing about crypto and we're trying to explain it to most people who have nothing. You basically have one set of coins that's highly likelihood to make you lose a lot of money and you have another one that's supported by utility. Something. Ethereum yeah. or ETH, right? Yeah. ETH going down probably won't go to zero because a lot of things use it. Yeah. 
or provide liquidity in liquidity pools for other tokens. Yes. So it has a lot of- Let's talk about that. Let's talk about, for get a little more advanced, trying to keep simple here, right. this, okay. All the geniuses don't need to be on this because they think they already know everything, but let's talk about liquidity pools. Right. So liquidity pools is a little more advanced concept because you have to know ratios a little bit and they need to understand stable coins. Let's talk about stable coins first because okay. you kind of need, need to understand stable coins to understand liquidity pools. So what's the most simplest way to explain a stable coin? It's generally tied to something that is pretty stable, like the US dollar. So you have a variety of stable coins, some centralized like Tether and some, de that's the most well-known. And then you yes. have some decentralized, like which would be more like Die is very common. It is a very common. Now, it, they can't really go down because theoretically they're tied to the US dollar. Yes, they're, they're pegged. They're pegged. So they fluctuate around the dollar, but there's a mechanism. So all of them have a mechanism that brings the price back to the dollar. Now, it doesn't mean that that mechanism cannot malfunction. <laughs> yes. But generally speaking, the big ones have been good at maintaining peg, even in the worst times. Or you could call it parity is parity. another word. Yeah. Parity means they're kind of on par with the US dollar. Now, yeah. for those, who feels confused? It's okay to feel confused. It's okay to feel confused. When yeah. you have, when you kind of understand this concept, now you have something called liquidity pools, right. which gets a little more complicated, but still easily understandable. And it's important that you understand this if you want to understand the future of probably, or at least where crypto blockchain is going right now in the world of DeFi. So what's the simplest way to do a liquidity pool? You have a basket. Do I have a basket anywhere? I need a basket. And inside of this, you put something that's kind of tied to the US dollar. Okay. Stable coins. Yeah. Stable coins, okay. Let's just say. USDC. Yeah, USDC, Tether, whatever. Now, you can also put something else in there. You can also put something else in there. A new token. Somebody said, Ty, we are not that stupid, bro. <laughs> you probably are the one. I have learned, as Shakespeare said, thou doth protest too much. The person who tells you ain't stupid in your life, if you're dating someone and they tell you they don't cheat and they talk about it a lot, thou dost protest too much. They're the one cheating on you. If you get some girl dated, oh, Ty, I always am loyal. Oh, I'm the loyal one. And the, no, that is not how it works. What Shakespeare meant by thou doth protest too much is the person who's saying something because we live in a world, I'll tell you, crypto, by the way, is the biggest virtue signaling world I've ever been in, almost. San Francisco venture capital <laughs> followed by San Francisco venture capital. Like, we just want to save the world. We're just here. Crypto people. Oh, you see us. We're just doing this for the good of mankind. <laughs> Meanwhile, we fucking <laughs> try to pump and dump shit and try to short-term trade. So back to this. Liquidity pool. You stick something that's kind of like a US dollar. It's not though, but it's pegged. You put something else in there. What should we give an example? Um, Uniswap tokens. Yeah. Sushi. Or, sushi. Is that sushi? That's sushi. Or let's do one of your favorite projects. Which uh, Olympus. Yeah. You can do. So let's take something like Olympus. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now you got kind of two things in the same thing. Right. Now the ratio can either go one way or another. People can either pull out the USDC. Well, yes, and deposit Olympus. Olympus, or they can take out the Olympus, and now the ratios switch this way. We need M&Ms. M&Ms. Yeah. We need M&Ms that we can show this. This is not a natural, and so, what's Olympus, somebody asks on Instagram. Olympus is is a partial reserve. Now we're getting a little currency. more advanced. Yeah. Okay. You can call it partial reserve. reserve we have our own ter internal term for it. You have something, Klima. Yeah. What? Would you want to see a token? Yeah, we can show that later. 
one each other. So liquidity pools, Alex, walk people through. Yeah. Somebody comes in, they withdraw. Yes, let's by say, depositing a token. So yes. let's say it's USDC and sushi as an example. So you deposit USDC if you want to buy sushi and you have USDC, USDC is US dollar stable coin. You deposit USDC, you take sushi out. And when you take sushi out, the ratio to USDC to sushi goes up. What's left in the bucket, that means that increases the price of sushi for the next person, for the ne next transaction. Does it make sense? And the opposite of it is true. When someone sells sushi, it means they dump the sushi inside the liquidity pool and pull out USDC, meaning more sushi, fewer USDC. That means lower price for sushi. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's the mechanics of most of these liquidity pools. Now it gets a lot more advanced. There's yes. curve, there's like balancer or- And there's you know, other more concepts, complex but, concepts yeah. like bonding, staking, right. so on. Um, that's not important if you're a beginner for now, but you should start like wrapping your head around this because staking is not that complicated. You have somewhat comp, you have some things that are controversial, uh, like hex where you can stake. Okay. Someone says, this doesn't sound very beginner. I don't understand what you're talking about. We already lost people. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. And you always want to be in a room where you don't understand everything that's being said. That's the growth. It's kind of like you want to work out with people that can lift more weights than you. What is staking Felix asked? Ah, let's use the example of hex, which is a somewhat controversial, you know, yeah. coin here. So, so staking is uh, just a smart contract. So it has to most, most, I mean, every, every one of them is obviously you can write whatever you want, but uh, most of them have a stake function, meaning you deposit your token to the smart contract. It's no longer in your wallet, which is something you cannot do from Coinbase, for example. Yeah, let, and let me explain too. this because Alex is a professor. <laughs> so, <laughs> so someone's already lost. But let me do it in dumb, dumb terms. Sometimes people think I'm a dumb, dumb because I tell things to people in a dumb, dumb term. So that's okay. I like people thinking I'm dumb. You know when you go to the bank and they offer you to do a CD, okay? And what they do, now CD, don't confuse these because they're legally different. A CD has FDIC, a guarantee, okay? The Fe Federal Depository Insurance Corporation. So Bank of America is different, but the concept, you can take a thousand bucks, deposit in a CD, in a sense you're staking it with Bank of America. And what they do is they say, all right, that money's locked up for, you can do a year, let's say CD at Bank of America. Now, in exchange for that, they will give you a higher interest rate than if you just keep the money in a liquid checking account, okay? If you pull the money early, they penalize you. So in crypto, there's this concept of staking, which is somewhat similar without the FDIC insured. You put your coins come out of your wallet, okay? And you stake them and you say, you can have them for X period of time in exchange, like on hex. So what is hex giving you right um, now? I forgot 40% a year or something like that. 40% a year. But if you take the money out earlier, what it happens? It has a penalty fee. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, but yeah. now we can bring up the concept of what three three is, which you see a lot of people. I saw today Tim Ferriss posted three three. Right. Should we get into three three? I feel like we're getting. Well, we're gonna advanced. lose everybody. No, not everybody. All the people. <laughs> yeah. Um, is hex a coin? It is a token. It yes. is a token. Explain the difference between people between tokens and coins. One's a native. Yeah, the native to the blockchain. Currency. Yeah. yeah. The native currency of a blockchain is a coin. Yes. And a token is an is like for example an ERC twenty is a token, meaning it's a smart contract written on top of the blockchain. Yes. So the native is called a coin. Basically. A token is a smart contract. So ETH is a coin on the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, but you. But USDC, there are tokens that yeah. sit on top of this Ethereum right. blockchain. Yeah. And they're called tokens. Yeah. Okay. So right. it's 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 fine. You can use both. People use them interchangeably. But if you wanted to be, you know, super genius sounding, you would. Scotty Clippin says, "Don't invest in crypto." 
Okay, fine. Sure, don't, don't do it. Don't do it, fine. <laughs> Like, we have, we care. <laughs> Someone said, for sure we are near the top. Okay. <laughs> Will crypto crash? Is this the top? Last time I talked about crypto, or the first time, it was at 3,500 Bitcoin. Now I went to 66,000 uh, recently in the last 30 days. Somebody says, do you yield farm? Yes. Yes. Alex is a, Alex is a <laughs> gunslinger in this game, okay? Alex is a gunslinger. Is 3-3 a token? No. No. 3-3 is kind of a conceptual a game yeah, theory. Exactly. You know. What Constant. percentage of people who say talk about 3-3-3 really understand it? Very few. 3.33 <laughs> <laughs> three <laughs> percentage of 3. Is it, is it like a token or a coin? No. Or like it's a, it's so from like a game theory concept yeah. of... What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. Uh, if, like, everybody, if everybody does it, we all win. win. And if people don't, it's like yeah. symmetrical and asymmetrical winning. Yeah. So, for example, a 3-3, three, three, for example, would be... What's the... In like it, is a, it, is a, it is a symmetrical winning. Meaning, yes. if all of us do the same thing, we all win. But if one of us doesn't do it, it takes away from others. So that's kind of the concept. I'm trying so to think of an concept. analogous concept, like we're dating relationships, maybe. You have this kind of concept of humans. There's two types of humans if you talk to an evolutionary psychologist, like Dr. Buss, my mentor. You have hawks and doves. Um, it's otherwise known as explo exploiters and cooperators. So in game theory, Let's say you're a guy and you're dating a woman. Um, there's an asymmetrical relationship in the last 2000 years between men and women because a man doesn't always know if the baby that pops out is his because there used to not be DNA tests, okay? So, <laughs> and this of course will be controversial because you're not allowed to talk about these things anymore. But a man has this kind of asymmetrical word. So a woman never has to worry that the baby she gives birth to is not hers. So there's an example of kind of a skewed sample set or a skewed relationship between men and women. And that's by the way, by men, if you ask an evolutionary psychologist, that's why men are more violent in relationships when they feel cheated on. Okay, somebody says Ty always goes back to dating. That's because that's the one thing everybody understands. Everybody's felt love, been in love for the most part. Um, the US government, for example, does not have, fiat money is not like that. So for example, we don't all need to fully participate in our, there can be defectors. So a defector would be someone, for example, who pays no taxes, okay? They're not in the only way you catch a defector is for the IRS to basically audit people. The idea in crypto is it's going to be a more what's the word decentralized, yeah, but decentralized, but resilient, also robust. resilient, yeah, even altruistic, yes. And so, this 3 3 concept is a meme now that people talk about. We have a whole new one 3 3 3, which is going beyond three. But the idea, like, for, I'll give you an example. These liquidity pools have that element to them. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, did, give an example in a liquidity pool of the 333 game theory concept. Yeah. So, I mean, the biggest advantage of a lot of new protocols, so it's like liquidity pool that Ty uh, explained, a lot of times the liquidity is provided by other people, not the yes. protocol. Which means if there is a scare, fear in the market, everybody's dumping and also people are removing the liquidity at the same time, the token crashes big time because the liquidity is going down and people are dumping at the same time, okay? So in DeFi 2.0, the way it works is that people create the liquidity, but then they hand it over to the protocol. I mean- Yeah, so but there's also a concept process. of treasury. Yes. We didn't talk that about that yet. So you program. have the staking, but you also, and you have liquidity pools, but you also have this treasury concept. And the concept for some of these newer protocols is that this, the, the actual treasury supports, has a support price built into it. Yes. So that things can't go to zero. So there's not a run, full run on the bank. So give an example of that for those who are following. If you feel lost, that's okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's I mean, I would use the public company 
example, actually. So public companies have this concept of book value, meaning if you stop the operation of the company and you liquidate all the assets, okay, you can recover, let's say, 10 bucks per share just from liquidating the assets of the company. Because yeah, maybe they own land. And land and office yes. building and equipment and, you know, whatever. And they have cash on a balance sheet. So that's like, they call it a book value. And then it normally trades, not always, it normally trades at a premium to the book value. Yes. Okay, so it, it trades at 30 bucks and there's a floor of 10 bucks, which hypothetically shouldn't go really below that because somebody would just buy the whole company yes. and liquidate it and make Very, money. Occasionally things trade below book value. Sometimes but do. that's usually an impairment from things like closely held discount, an insane right. owner yeah, exactly. can cause that yeah, these in the stock market. But so yeah, the idea in these new protocols is how do you create book value, create a book value. And that's where the concept of a treasury right. comes in. Right. So it's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of this crypto stuff is replicating kind of the federal reserve. That is, it is in a, hopefully a better way because the federal reserve has problems. Yes. But it's very similar. It just is decent. It's a protocol. How do they coordinate their buy sell crypto activities in the liquidity pools in 33? So the idea is there's no central coordination. There is no. So it's the idea. liquidity yeah. pools are completely decentralized. Anybody yes. at any time can deposit or withdraw. It that's what capitalism's supposed to do, right? That Adam Smith had this concept of the invisible hand. So the invisible hand means you don't need a central government like Soviet Union had. Right. Um, so when you said who's coordinating it, that's, you don't want somebody coordinating, it, except you want kind of the neural network of hu the human collective brain is the concept. Yeah. It's very capitalistic in many ways, crypto. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is pure capitalism. It's pure. It's very libertarian and capitalistic. Yes. Both. Because a centralized system like the U.S. government, you have actual yeah, people. Yeah, and then you have people saying, ah, it's not blah, blah. So you have it's Janet right. Yellen or somebody yeah. like that who's like, ah, we're going to raise interest rates or we're going to hold it. Now, of course, it's not. That. The U.S. government is more complicated than that, too. There's no right. one person who can completely move the market. But it's definitely more centralized. Yeah. But there is some problems in crypto in that it's still mass hysteria because there's not enough people in it that that creates a problem because when you don't have a large enough sample set of participants, then capitalism doesn't work as well. Right. So it's getting that. These are long, complicated it's, conversations. It's We're trying to take complicated things. Shiba is growing. He wants to be like his brother Doge. How many, you, you know, the Sh fact that so many people talk about Shiba in a coin that has no fundamental, it probably means it's the yeah, but, Doge, but everyone said that about Doge. Uh, Elon Musk came and I, I think that's kind of topped off already. We What's Doge? What's Doge? Swap, though. Huh? Uh, they have Shiba Swap now. Yeah, I know, but I mean, why would anybody use Shiba Swap? It's like, a... <laughs> like I said, I, I'm gonna launch Lexi Swap, my dog. Lexi. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you, who here has ever played the game um, where you go in a circle and there's one less chair than there is people? <laughs> and what you do is they go, everybody go, and you all run around, and then they go, stop. And one person doesn't have a chair. What's that damn game called? Musical, musical, musical chairs. chairs. Thank you. Musical chairs. Music, duck, duck, goose. Music, no, musical chairs. Some of these coins are a little bit musical chairs. Okay? In general, I don't recommend you do musical chairs unless you're willing to lose all your money. But sometimes you can make money in musical chairs because sometimes when you run around and you sit, Bingo, you got a chair. But if you keep playing musical chairs long enough, you may uh, end up poor and homeless in this game. So what you're looking for is what's a game in the crypto world that has a better chance at surviving. Somebody said SHIB is a bridge for some to get in the market. For sure, so is Dogecoin, so is Litecoin, so is Bitcoin Cash. People came in through all kinds of things. Auger. I mean, people came in. Most people got into crypto because their buddy was like, yo, buy this thing. Buy this. That's how most people do the stock market, too. Somebody said Kate Coin is around 90 million market cap. Go buy Kate Coin. Cake? Kate. Kate. But not with a K. Okay. I'm not recommending it. One time I read off a comment and people were like, see, Ty, we recommended it. I'm like, bitch, I was reading a comment. 
Shiba was rated number nine of all crypto or something. Yeah, well, good one. We're, 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 less, we're less interested <laughs> in, it's fine. People are gonna make money yeah, in that. Sure. We're less, in, yeah. we're more interested in stuff we think have fundamentals. We're working on a project, um, which is basically, we think has a lot of value just to the world, to people who own it. And it's not a, it's not a meme coin, <laughs> right? It, no. It's not a here, it's, my, it's not a here in my garage coin. <laughs> It's a real coin. It's a, a knowledge coin. A universal store of value type coin that, yeah, is fairly complicated. We're not going to explain it now, but it'll be out in, what do you think, Alex? Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. If we, maybe, maybe three weeks. Maybe. You looked into tell. What's everybody's favorite coin? Lightning Network, somebody said. That's a network. Yeah, that's a network. <laughs> Luna. Luna's good. I like Luna. What do you like about Luna? I like partially collateralized stable coins. Yes. Yeah. So there's there's stable coins that are basically fully collateralized, more, and then there's partial. Yeah, and there's over collateralized. That's DAI. DAI is over collateralized. Yes. It's not very capital efficient. It means you need a lot of collateral to generate a tad bit of stable coin. Yes. So it's kind of like gambling in Vegas. If somebody is favored to win, you have to bet a lot of money in order to win a little bit. Right. That's kind of like the con the concept of You have it. these analogies that never crossed my mind. It's an interesting analogy, yeah. It, it is. is. Yeah, it is, yeah. Betting on like if, you know, if Fedor Emelianenko or, uh, who's your favorite fighter? George St. George Pierre George. was yes. finding, fighting, you know, a random person, a crypto person. <laughs> Most crypto people have lost all muscle mass because they're like in the basement. Uh, but you would have to bet a lot of cash on George St. Pierre to win like one dollar of him fighting an amateur fighter. So, but that's not a perfect analogy of uh, yeah. but but partially collateralized state uh, coins. So explain why there are partial. So that you don't need to lock up, lock up. So basically this is, you know, blockchain, right? So you need to lock up collateral. You means a user. Users need to lock up collateral on the smart chain to generate the smart coin, uh, to, stay, to generate this stable coin. So if it is over collateralized like DAI, you need to lock up a lot of ETH yes. to generate- but why do people want an over collateralized? Safety. Safety, yes. exactly. Yeah. So an example of that, I mean, the way the U.S. used to be, you had a certain, uh, if you go back a century, you had backing with it gold, okay? Um, so that's it. But banks even now, they don't have to keep all the money that's on deposit in reserve. There's a ratio. And that's actually set by the government. So somebody said, now you're an expert on crypto, LOL. You spell crypto wrong. Crypto wrong. <laughs> I'm not, if you can't spell crypto, you're not allowed to talk about crypto. Believe it or not. Um, nobody is an actual expert. I, I'm, I've been friends for a long time with the co-founders of some of the biggest, you know, blockchains. Nobody's really an expert. It's a big game. It's like being an expert in business. You know, you just know stuff and some stuff you don't know. It's like, welcome to the world. Rory McDonald was the first one to get you into crypto, okay? Somebody said they're hodling Doge till it's literal launch to the moon in April. What do you think? I don't get the meme coins, man. It's a, You're talking to a logical actor. You're not gonna get I Alex get to really do, buy. Don't talk to Alex about If it's named coins. after a dog, I don't buy it. So. <laughs> Yeah, but you like sushi. He's named after food. Yeah, that's right. Named after I fish. like food. I like food. I like pancake swap. Alex food. doesn't eat dogs. So if you name your <laughs> coin over a dog, Alex is always hungry because he's a Virgo. All earth signs are always hungry. So he likes sushi because it's sushi.com. Pancake swap. He likes pancake swap. <laughs> your best bet to get Alex to buy in is name it after something he's hungry for. Do you know about the Singularity API? No. 
Somebody said, why you're blowing off? I, we're not blowing off. Somebody's going to make money in Dogecoin. Somebody's going to make money in Chiba. It, that's not how. We are not. We're just saying we don't, don't make money. There's a concept in, in logic called bounded rationality. You can only know so many things. So, you know, we don't, we can't know one person. We bound our rationality and we'd rather know more about coins that we think have long-term utility. This guy says I'm 4,000 percent up on doge and i'm not doge and i'm not bragging but it's my proudest investment so far good that was good happy for just you. make sure you lock some of that in yes take your cost basis <laughs> you out. may want to take these least your cost basis now you're playing on the on the house you know what about filecoin filecoin is good filecoin is um uh the token uh, the coin that powers ipfs it is basically storage space on the blockchain all NFTs are stored on IPFS. Am I right? I think they are. So I think all of them are. So that is basically where you store a, an image, you know, a GIF. It's like a anything. blockchain Dropbox yeah. concept. Yes, it's drop, exactly, thank you. You Tron. explain things way better than me. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? You explain things way better than me. Dropbox. On That's why he's the professor and I'm just the lowly college dropout. When you call a dropout, you get to speak to the people. Alex gets to speak to all the people who consider themselves geniuses. Okay, somebody said Tron. Let's talk about Tron. A little yeah. controversial at one point, maybe still controversial. Initially used as a? It was supposed to be a YouTube. If I'm a not YouTube mistaken. competitor. Yeah. yeah, decentralized YouTube. It was a controversial founder. He was in China, right? I don't know. I Wasn't the Tron guy, didn't he pay Warren Buffett for lunch? Was that the no, Tron guy? I think it was the Tron guy. Yes, no, EOS is not. No, no, that's like more like Brock Pierce and those guys. Oh, Look up Tron founder Warren Buffett lunch. And then Warren Buffett didn't want to do it and then ended up doing it. Isn't Justin it Tron? Son, founder of Tron. Oh, yeah, Justin, Justin yeah. Sun. Yeah. I'm not that dumb. I'm not as dumb as I look. Okay, so Tron, what's your thought on it now? I mean, it's an interesting concept. Now it pivoted to a what's the new pivot? Super, super fast, efficient blockchain. Yes. So, those of you who are new, there are problems that people bring up in various blockchains. A, they can be slow, congested, and cost money. Right. Too much. Like some people, you send a thousand bucks to somebody else, and the gas fees is one hundred and fifty bucks. It's pretty traumatic. Versus if you wire people money, your bank card charge you 10 bucks. So there's still problems in the blockchain world. Okay. It's not done. Justin? Com that is uh, Compound. I like Compound. Compound Why do you like is Compound? A, I mean, it's, it's one of the, there are two big dogs, Compound and Aave. I like both. They're lending platforms. I mean, in, these, in finance, the big, biggest function is lending, obviously. So, you know, decentralized lending has to be a big part of DeFi, and these two are the top two, so yeah. by far. Polkadot. Polkadot is interesting. A lot of people talk about Polkadot. Yeah, it is founders of Ethereum, or one of the founders of Ethereum. There was, I think, five founders of Ethereum. I'm friends with two of them. Yeah. And explain Polkadot. What's the simplest a, way? It is a faster proof of stake, um, uh, blockchain compatible, it's compatible, it, Compatible with multiple blockchains, uh, blockchain, so. Yes, because some blockchains, there's blockchains that have never been used or hold hardly everybody, anybody's ever figured out how to use them. There are blockchains that are used all the time. These are the ones that people are trying to improve upon, improve upon generally being Ethereum. Yes. That's kind of the, everybody wants to improve. They're, yeah. they're not trying to improve on EOS or something. No, nobody's yeah. trying to improve on EOS. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Wait until the blockchain goes quantum. Yeah, that'll be a big deal in general. Cardano ADA. What's your Damn thought? <laughs> Alex can't figure out Cardano. Yeah, it's just it's just so much hype. And I don't like honestly it doesn't have smart contracts yet that we're supposed to have it. I mean this day and age if you don't have smart contracts, you better your name better be Bitcoin. So <laughs> it's um, it's a weird one to me. It's a weird one. Investing in NFT video games. NFTs are used a lot for video games. 
Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers play video games. Yes. That's one I don't quite understand. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I get that one. Video games? You yeah. Don't play, you don't play video games. I used to. Yeah, I did too when I was 12. <laughs> I got <laughs> shit to but do. But still, like, I don't know what people get all the time. I got fun stuff to do, man. <laughs> no I hate on video game people. I just, I know a dude, friend of mine, who made so much money, and this fucking guy told me he plays video games six hours a day. I'm like, bro, you're rich. That's the best thing you could do. You could do that when you're poor. That's what you do. I'm like, why would you make a lot of money? You could enjoy the world, travel the world, do whatever you want, but you're gonna sit there and play video games? Six, six hours. I can't, you shouldn't do anything six hours a day. But anyway, I'm just weird like that. I'm an adult guy that's not huge into playing video games. Apparently that's weird. It's good for me. Yeah. All you guys who like to date women, you want the world pool of men who only play video games to always increase. You want that liquidity pool to be inserting men in. <laughs> got no competition. Women are just like, no one will date me because they're playing video games. I'm here. Okay, V chain. This was a supply chain kind of. Yeah, I looked at it last night. I gotta look more into it. Now, there's so. so many coins and protocols. It's insane. <laughs> it's literally the Cambrian explosion period, which yeah. happened a hundred million years ago. Yeah, I saw engine. Yeah. Engine is good. Algorithm Somebody said my good. girlfriend likes video games. Fortunately, great. I'm trying to increase the pool of men who play video games. How can I do that? I want to increase that pool. All good looking men, you should just play video games at all times for the rest of your life. I will incur I will bring you a pillow to sit on. I will send somebody to rub your shoulders. You guys, prediction prediction for BTC end of year. So my pred I don't like to do super short term predictions just because I, I I did that math a couple of years ago and I made a prediction on one of these calls. It's on one of my YouTube videos. I said Bitcoin at two hundred fifty thousand before twenty twenty five. It was a pretty conservative bet uh, in the sense that there's a good chance it vastly surpasses that. We'll see. We will see. That was my, I saw potentiality in just some limited calculations that I did. But, you know. I like Ave. Somebody mentioned Ave. What do you like about it? It's every chain, it's going cross chain and every chain that it goes on is like number one. Like it has... Went on Polygon at 20 billion, 20 billion of liquidity locked on it in like a very short amount of time. Then it went on Avalanche. So somebody's it. asking, what does it do? It's a lending protocol. So let's say you have ETH, okay? Mm -hmm. But you need money to buy something else. Yes. And you don't want to sell your ETH. Because remember, selling things theoretically creates a taxable event. And but getting a loan against it can yeah. create a tax deduction. Yes. So you yeah. deposit your ETH. And you can get a percentage of that. It's kind of like a mortgage. So you put your house in and you get money. against it, right? Yeah, it's a little more, a better term would be a home equity line home of credit. Home equity line of credit, yeah. A mortgage is a little different. That's yeah. not an acquisition. Sure. But you could do a, a credit line against what you right. already have. Right. right. So this allows you, if you have X amount of dollars, if most people think in fiat, in Ethereum or ETH, the, okay? Then you go, I don't want to sell, but me need money to pay my bills today. Yeah. And so, what were we just, which one were we talking about? Compound. No. Or Aave. 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 This is one where people, you stake, it's not staking, but yeah, yeah, staking. I mean, you stake meaning you supply yes. and then you borrow. You supply and you borrow. You supply yeah. meaning you put a bunch of assets in, could be a different portfolio of assets, and then you borrow against your portfolio. Somebody says, I still don't understand FDM? selling gains than not getting taxed. No, if you get a loan, the definition of a loan, the reason the IRS doesn't tax a loan is you got to pay it back and there's interest payment. And the only tax deductible part of it is the interest. Right. So if you, if you do a loan against your house or against your assets for a million, you get a million bucks in your bank account, for, that's not tax deductible. But if you have to pay them 4% on that, that little sliver there, $40,000 of interest is tax deductible yeah. in most cases. But somebody said HEX is 40% APY. Yes. Who's this? I saw somebody mentioning Trader Edmund Ty has done talks. Oh, gotcha. 
Don't Who try to, never try to convince people I'm smart. I like that the world thinks I'm dumb. Cake. It was good steak. for me, man. I went and bought up all these assets, bought Pier One. I bought Pier One, me and Alex bought it, doing 1.7 billion in revenue. We bought it for $31 million. Steal this entry. Please spread the word that Ty knows nothing about business. Tell people that negotiate against me, all oh, this Ty, this sucker dude's gonna buy <laughs> Pier One. I'm like, shit, I bought 1.7 billion of revenue for 31 billion. You wanna be like the Kardashians in life. They're dumb like a fox. They're dumb like a fox. The whole world's like, the Kardashians don't know anything. It's like youngest female billionaire, or youngest billionaire alive, Kylie Jenner. Well, she ain't that dumb, you know? She ain't that dumb. She sold half of her, everybody who touches that family gets rich. Kanye, billionaire now. Now maybe people say they took as well. I don't know, doesn't seem to be that way. Yellen wants to tax pre-capital gains. Yeah, boy, America's going cuckoo-lucoo, man. America's going crazy on the taxation. Where should you start learning about crypto? Discord is a common place. YouTube, yeah. lives like this. You can go to a centralized exchange like a Coinbase. The best thing you can do is just buy something. Yeah, just buy, a buy bit. it makes you learn. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Play with it. And by one thing people don't realize that are new to this, just because Bitcoin is 60,000 or 50,000, whatever it is, it, you can buy a fraction of it. A lot of people don't know that. They're like, I'm waiting until like, oh, Alex can't fathom <laughs> that people don't know that. Lot, dude, millions of people haven't bought it. I know people are like, They're I'm like, saving up my money. Like They're like, I'm saving up my <laughs> money to buy it. It's fractional. <laughs> it's fractional. Hilarious. Yeah, that buy is. Shiba in Voyager. Voyager is, I mean, interesting. I mean, that, uh, it's a Canadian company. You can't even buy stocks. That's the double unicorn? That's the double unicorn. Yeah. It's uh, got equity value market cap of over a billion and then it has coin market cap of under a billion. So that's cool. Only four to 500 viewers. What happened used to be thousands. Eh, it's late at night. It's 125. And we're talking about crypto. People's <laughs> minds explode. <laughs> it, this isn't a comment. You gotta, if you wanna get, if I wanna max out your Instagram, you wanna have, you know, not a conversation about finance. A lot of FTM mentions. I like FTM. Yeah. But it's still more expensive than Polygon. So I don't know. What do you I like about FTM? It's a solid, it's solid. Like transaction speed is super high. You don't get a lot of RPC. They call it RPC issues, meaning you initiate a transaction, but, the, but it fails. So you don't get a lot of that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna end this soon, but what's 10 questions we have? Rapid fire. I've asked too many times, but thoughts on Altura, A-L-U. I don't know it. So. Don't know it. Do you like meme stonks? No. <laughs> when is stonks gonna get like old? old it's such know. like a boring thing. It's now a boomer thing. I'm like, have crypto people like learned, like you gotta come up with new words all the time. Nobody's like dutical radical anymore. Solana like, is people good. are still saying hodl and all that shit. Okay. NFTs worth getting into. I think so. We like them. We're turning one of our brands into an NFT marketplace. Will a spot ETF get approved? Uh, I think so. I think so. Well, there's I been a whole bunch of- approved it. I yeah. think the first one they approved. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff happening yeah. around the whole securitize. So there's, just to be more confusing for those of you who are newer, but it's, it did. There's a whole world of crypto that happens outside of the US government. Yeah. Okay, there's certain companies that theoretically you're not even supposed to be in America and they ask you, you can't, you know, basically say, assert that you're not a US citizen. So you have this kind of world, but then you have this new world where the US government is coming in and trying to make it go through conventional security, securitization regulation. So like stocks are securitized um, and they are regulated. And so there's going to be a whole new world of the regulated crypto world. And what's the one that just rang the New York Stock Exchange bell? 
a week or two ago. Just put crypto company, look in the news tab of Google. Who knows, why am I slipping my mind right now? We already talked about XRP. Bitcoin is trash. I do not agree with that. I, I think Bitcoin can be around. It's a well-known name. What was the name? Bitcoin ETF, BITO. Yeah, Bitcoin yeah. ETF. Yeah. yeah that's BITO, already... right? Yeah. Do you remember any privacy coins? Somebody wrote Cardano. I, I think it has an audit trail. Doesn't Cardano have an audit trail? Dude, I, I don't know. I don't. What do you think on privacy coins in general? I think <laughs> basically on Ethereum compatible blockchains, they're not possible. I mean, you can use tornado cash and stuff to hide your trail. And I'm not even sure if it is a good idea. That's Why do you not think tornadoing something is a good idea? Tornado is fine, but if, if, it, if the transaction is not traceable, there's not an yes. audit tra trail, most of the time you don't even know what happened. So just so that you know. <laughs> yes. Mastermind info. Yeah, for those of you who want to meet us, we're going to be in Miami. If you go to tylopez.com, is it on the homepage, right, for tylopez.com? Or look, we have a fireside chat we're doing on November... No, this is, uh, I think it's the ninth. The ninth. Tuesday in South Beach. If you want to buy a ticket, we're doing a quick talk in person, like an hour. Do we know who Richard Hart is? Yes, that's the Hex founder. Somebody said, bye bye, Bitcoin. We'll soon be leaving this speculative. What is this face? Is this YouTube? Bye bye, Bitcoin. We'll soon be leaving the speculative bull run and transition into the utility bull run. Okay. Words. That's what that was. <laughs> it's just words, words. All right. We're now going into Great. the utility according to YouTube commenter number 43. Crypto gaming is the move. Okay. What do you think of Kadena? K-A-D-E-N-A. -E I don't know what that is. Kadena. What's Kadena? We have our phone a friend. He has a laptop over there. I'm using, we're using five phones to do. We're on six platforms right now live, including Clubhouse. Speakeasy is the coolest, honestly. Yeah, Speakeasy is ours. We're, we're coming out of beta in like a week, next Friday. Yeah. We look forward to it. What's the coin? What is it? What does it do? What's the market cap? One bill, there's so many unicorn it's easy. It's like coins and you don't even like, you have to spend your whole life trying to, yeah. What about Wonderland? McAfee, he, isn't he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Or maybe they're thinking he's like Jeffrey Epstein. He's not, all, he's still alive somewhere. Ty, I want to work with you. My team and I grow a protocol token to talk. Okay, Adrian Snopes. Let me, is that link ready? Yeah, let's put by Nick. No, I, I didn't know that he had a response. Can you call him? I'm going to give you all a link. If you are a coder. Solidity. If you Solidity coder, we've got something for you. Uh, me and Alex want to talk to you on Zoom on Sunday. Yes, you can get a virtual ticket if you can't come to Miami. What about Binance coin? I like Binance. I know it, it gets a lot of hate because it's... Chinese and all the nodes are run by them. So it's, it's kind of like a centralized- but so is Clubhouse. Sure, it, but it's centralized. It's like it's, you know, so it's taboo. <laughs> in the, so in the crypto so is TikTok, yeah, so true. is Zoom. I, I mean, I agree. So yeah. Just assume the Chinese are, yeah. Ty, what was your workout today? We did buy, back and triceps with Flex Wheeler on Zoom. Uh, no, actually we weren't on Zoom, we were on- well, on our app. That had the best ending uh, with Rick Field. That yeah. was very emotional. And I'm yeah. happy. Really, I was really happy to see that ending. Ty, can you talk about your DeFi project? Uh, in a week Not or so. Not yet. Not yet. Top three holding in crypto you have that you would share. What's up? Uh, ETH. I mean, I have more ETH than anything else. Yes. Um, I have a lot of stable, I have speculative stuff like Olympus, I have Sushi, I have One Inch, I have- Doge? Uh, no, I don't no. have any Doge. We need to, you need to just buy some just to have it. 
<laughs> Just so I am like, God, I'm a share, I'm a token holder. <laughs> Safe moon, we talked yeah, about. Just, I know it's a, At this point in society, what percentage of your income should be going to crypto? Depends how speculative you yeah, are. Yeah, be you know? careful. Be careful. One inch is dead, somebody said. No, it's not. But they said it, so it has to be yeah, true. It has to be true, yes. The more, right, no comments. The more <laughs> emotional, we all know that something becomes more true based on the amount of emotions the opinion giver puts <laughs> behind the opinion. That's how most people argue. If I say it really, if I say it, it will it to happen. Dwing. Now it happens. One inch is dead. Metaverse ETF. Talk about mana. Where is Grant? You mean Grant Cardone? Probably in Miami. If you don't talk about plan B price floor, if you don't talk about plan B price to floor model, then none of you know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Words. Yes. Words. Yeah. Words. <laughs> Alex. With so much conviction. If you don't like, know this what is he is what saying, you know nothing. <laughs> We're so okay. So We're doing energy. all. If this, if, if my life is what happens when you don't know what you're doing, I like my life. I want to know less about everything. Then, thoughts on overpopulation? Definitely a problem. I have a theory because I disagree with Jeff Bezos thinking that solutions is just to send everyone to Mars. Can we send all annoying people <laughs> in the penis rocket that Jeff Bezos made? I will, me and Alex will personally pay for it. Yes. That is a solution to overpopulation. <laughs> Penis rocket and just launch them. Just bow. Just all, because we know there'll be nothing more stable than all of the weirdos in the world living on a station in Mars. That'll be a wonderful world. Uh, that's a real solution. Great solution. Bro, can I bartend for you in exchange for under? Plan B price to floor model is extremely accurate. You should look at it. Who's Googling plan, what plan B is? Mm. <laughs> Ty, aside from Alibaba, what US warehouses should you go to? For our brands, I was just up at our warehouse partner. We just got another 500,000 square feet in Ohio. It's pretty insane. Ty for president, no. That sounds like a horrible job. Sounds like I'd rather go to Mars with all the crypto people than be president of the United States. McAfee used Monero and Pirate Chain. I don't know how much I would emulate John McAfee. Just so you know. He's not one of my role models. Smart guy, but I don't, uh, careful who you crop copy, you know? How can new entrepreneurs work with you? Go on tylopez.com. Mac, McAfee is Satoshi. That I doubt. That I, do you think he came up with Bitcoin? Come on. He was too busy doing cocaine. <laughs> uh, cure for overpopulation, build new cities. What is this? I like this. Build new cities with casinos and man-made beaches. How does that, How does solve, that solve, solve it? That probably increases because people will have more sex and more kids. Thoughts on Fetty Wap getting arrested? I actually know Fetty Wap. I have no idea. He got apparently arrested today for some drug indictment. No idea. I try to not speak on what I don't know. Somebody said he came back to listen to crypto but heard penis rockets <laughs> that's how you never know on one of my podcasts or one of my shows what we're going to talk about <laughs> nba championship predictions <sighs> damn um i don't know all lakers look will be ready soon i love i'm a, oh it's going to be here i'm going to put a link soon who here is a solidity coder if you don't know what a solidity is, then you're definitely not a solidity coder. We need more and consultants. We have our own people. Put the word solidity if you know how to code in solidity. Yeah, just type in solidity. The word solidity. Let's see if we get anybody. Oh, there's a lot. Grayscale. 
Did you talk about Ether versus Bitcoin? Yes. Ty doesn't know anything about crypto. Yes. <laughs> what do you think about lithium? Lithium Here's is somebody a... wrote Solidity. Do you get your own lab, Lambo with crypto? Yes, that's how it works. Just gonna, I'm going to spend my life confusing many people purposely, but in a very convincing way. <laughs> if you buy, if you buy a if you buy our coin, you get a free Lambo. Each person. <laughs> that's how we do it. No matter how much you buy. <laughs> Suckers born every minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But remember, a lot of crypto is four years old or like 12 years old. There's a lot of crypto like millionaires who are 16. And let me tell you, that money going to flow in and out of their life. You watch. Easy come, easy go, baby. Be careful making a lot of money when you're 14. Some of them will keep it. But you need a little war scars in this world before you know what to do with money. People are going to get slapped around in this game. If you haven't been in the game for a while, a lot of people... God, a lot of people made a lot of money. I have a friend or an acquaintance, sold his company for $18 million. Two years later, that motherfucker was back to work in a nine to five job. Buy Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, Matic. Okay. Somebody said they learned their lessons in 2017. Is there any true value behind crypto? Yes. And on top of that, Money in and of itself never has, in general, intrinsic value. Even something like gold was not the most important thing for humans. And in general, in general, you do not use, in the last, let's say, 500 years of civilization, you don't actually use things that are, in and of themselves, extremely valuable. Because oftentimes, for example, they're heavy or they spoil. What's the most valuable thing in our life? One of it is food. But it's hard to make food a currency. In and of itself, food has value, tremendous amount of intrinsic value. Bitcoin maybe doesn't, a US dollar doesn't, but that doesn't matter. That's, people are, think they're smart, but they're not. Because, because something doesn't have intrinsic value doesn't necessarily mean it can't be a form of exchange. We don't, if Alex, if, if we like, if I go to buy a car, I don't bring a whole bunch of food because it rots Sandwiches. and you need tremendous volumes of it. To buy a Lamborghini, you would need to bring a lot of food. <laughs> a lot of food. You have to bring tractor trailers of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So mankind develops something else. And this is very complex for people because people think they understand. And one of the most dangerous people in the world are people who think they're smart and have slightly above average IQ, they're like a fucking baby with a machine gun. That shit's dangerous. They know enough to press the trigger and kill everybody in the room. So it, the question is not, is it's a, it's a low IQ question, okay? And it is, it's not whether Bitcoin has intrinsic value. This is an incorrect, US dollar is cotton. Is cotton valuable? Is an ounce of cotton $100 bill worth 100? No, it is what stands behind it. And what stands behind it is exchange. It's not even a government. It's the fact in the, in the 1800s, 1860s, when you had the Civil War, there was a lot of different currencies and the problems is you didn't know which one was gonna win. So you didn't wanna get paid in you know South Carolina dollars because the next day you went, you gave somebody a horse for South Carolina dollars and you went and go spend it and buy, you know, a plow. And people are like, I don't want your fucking South Carolina dollars, fuck that. So there's a confidence level that has to happen. And the question is, does Bitcoin have that? And the answer is most likely yes, if you ask me. Now, if you ask other people, they're very confident it has none, but then they're using US dollars, which are in and of themselves the same as Bitcoin. So I, I, you have to be smarter. And money is not the simplest thing to for human. It's not inherent to our DNA that we understand money of any sort, whether it be fiat, whether me and Alex have a mentor, two mentors that won a Nobel Prize in economics. You know what's interesting? These guys are 70 years old. They won Nobel Prize. One's Professor Chris uh, is Sir now. 
Christopher Pizzeridis, one is Professor Eric Maskin at Harvard. He has less confidence than most of the people call. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he won a Nobel Prize, but like, no time. Let me actually tell you. Let me tell you how it goes, buddy. <laughs> I've read three white papers. I'm in two Discord channels, and I fucking heart and like a lot of good things. And I say hodl and noobs and fucking, you know, Homer's and, and I, I follow, I follow Elon Musk. See how it works? You follow Elon Musk, you're automatically like him. No, you're not. There's an old, there's an old Greek, uh, there's an old piece of literature that says, drink deeply at the Pyrian well or don't drink at all. The Pyrian well denotes complex knowledge, you know? What cryptos do you own? We talked about this already. Would you host a reality TV show? I've been asked this a few times. Guy Lopez would make a good Joker. I could be. I could see. I could be in that Joker movie. Okay. <laughs> I think I could see. I could blast a few. I like the scene. Up. <laughs> I'd be the Joker. Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember the scene in the the with De Niro when he's in that talk show. Yeah. Yeah. That's so a that, good scene. That's, I could definitely blast some fools. If you wouldn't go to prison for that, I, some people deserve to be blasted. Die on Shark Tank. No, I'll run Shark Tank. I mean, I don't pitch little $1 million businesses anymore. But you can pitch them to me. Tyler Lopez on Saturday Night Live one day? I don't think I'm funny like that. It's your favorite car. I mean, the best car that's not like totally, that comes off of an assembly line is a Rolls Royce that I've ever, I've been in almost every car. I've been a judge for the Rob Report. Rolls Royce for just like quality car. I've driven, I've never bought, owned a Bugatti, but I drove one of the new ones. But that car is like, what are you gonna do with a Bugatti? What are you gonna do with a $3 million car? Are you gonna give it to the valet? Hell no. All right, so a Rolls Royce is expensive, but not like, you know, Rolls Royce are like 400,000, not 4 million. And that's a damn nice car. But for speed, Lamborghini is just a badass car. It's just a good car. Ty, do you own a Tesla? No, I've been in them. How many cars do you own? When I moved to Puerto Rico, I sold all my cars. I got to rebuy them. I've been too busy. Me and Alex are working on a jet. I need a jet more than a car now that I'm in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico doesn't have good roads. <laughs> it's like all the Lamborghinis in Puerto Rico, you'll be in a pothole the size of your Lamborghini. So we need more jets to get off the island when we need to go place. 10% of one. What do you think about the metaverse, Alex? I mean, I played, I played with it. Yeah, I, it's not for everybody. Let me it's what it we need. Yeah. More dudes yes. who don't get out of the house. <laughs> you know what the world needs? <laughs> Motherfuckers, sedentary lifestyle, so you look like Mark Zuckerberg. This is the solution. This, it is great for, I mean, it's great for any man, any, any warm-blooded male that has a social life. Please let all men be in the fucking metaverse. <laughs> Watching God knows what. Hanging out. They reminds me of. It reminds me of. Uh, you ever watch The Office where Dwight Schrute was playing Second Life and he's like, I like, I like my life so much. I made two of them. In my Second Life life, my name is also Dwight. I am also a paper salesman, but I can fly. So that's a. Uh, that's yeah. Dad, Raptor. I'm gonna get a Raptor in Puerto Rico for sure. I like horses, man. I got 32 horses now. I, that's what I need down here in Puerto Rico. You can actually drop, use horses here. If you change one thing in the world, what would it be? What would you answer? I know Alex's answer. What? We will live a long time. Yeah, but is that, I think some people should live, live less long. That's a more important thing. Do you maybe really want increase, some people living twice as long? Maybe increase IQ of all humans. How about reduce mental illness? Sure. Because increasing IQ just makes people more wickedly weirdos. Somebody said COVID was created so obvious, so obvious. Okay. The only thing is, who benefited by COVID totally? Because China's not doing that well right now. 
just so you all know. The economies are a little bit tied together. One of the biggest potential flip-flop destructions of the world is happening in China with their property issues. All of these supply chain stuff stock stuck off the Long Beach port is hurting China. I don't know. I don't know. We started it, somebody said. Huh? We they started said we started COVID. Oh yeah, sure. It yeah, was we uh, did. It was an experiment gone wrong. <laughs> it was an experiment gone wrong. I was just trying to kill some idiot guys that I knew and it accidentally fucking yeah. they sneezed on their friends. It was not supposed to go. <laughs> mental illness is important to talk about. Yes. And mental illness is a real thing, boy. High consciousness equals not crazy. Well, you have to understand how mutations are. It's funny that people are like, oh, I'm crazy. I'm good crazy. How many mutations are actually good? Very few. In evolutionary, our evolutionary past, almost every mutation was negative and every once in a while, it created an outlier. So for those of you who are crazy and you're proud of it, the odds are it's not a positive mutation. You don't manifest that, but maybe you're the one Everybody thinks they're the one good I mean, if I zap you with radioactive rays, are you more likely to die of cancer or become Spider-Man? Yeah. So I was like... In the metaverse. In the metaverse. The you become metaverse Spider-Man. Of a lot of dudes. In normal life, you get cancer. So. Mark Zuckerberg will be the respo responsible for the full muscle mass loss of, the, of all basic men on Earth. Dudes will be struggling under a 45 pound bench press because they can just go on the metaverse and be like, look, I'm strong here <laughs> and women love me and I look good. Ty, what part of Puerto Rico are you in? Kind of like central-ish. We have a link. We have a link. It's gonna be can you put it on the board? What is it? Uh, okay. The link is set to Sunday, if you're a Solidity coder and you want to talk to Alex and I, 2 p.m. Eastern? Yeah. 2 p.m. Eastern. Our, one of our holding companies is, re, is Retail E-Commerce Ventures. If you want to see what we do in the non-crypto world, but now we do a crypto. Retail E-Commerce Ventures. They should have done damn Ty Lopez. Can they do Ty Lopez one? To do both. TyLopez.com, make it slash solidity. Scratch that one out. That's, I don't want that. It's too long. Talobas.com slash solidity. Show up Sunday. This is just for solidity coders. By the way, I've gotten 1,300 stars, which are money on Facebook. Is this like metaverse stuff? So I can't actually spend the money? Somebody wrote, you don't do crypto. We're sure. What does that mean, do crypto? What do people do crypto? You put in your money on Tyson Fury or Logan Paul. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that Fury family is a boxing family. You know who Tyson Fury is? You know Tyson Fury. Yeah, yeah. But you know that, brother. Well, it should say it's when it's scheduled. It should be a scheduled one. So if you, it is scheduled. Yeah. Oh, it's not late. Like, yeah, so. Right, so what's the time? Okay. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern? Those Logan Paul boys, I know them. They're pretty strong. Stay away from cord fed these corb fed 220 pound people. I box, I do jujitsu. These guys are strong. You could become a billionaire fastest by getting into electricity. Did you know that all? Into what? Getting into electricity. Sure. <laughs> okay. Have you guys seen so the dollar nice. vigilante and crypto vigilante videos? Have you seen the crypto vigilante videos? What is a secret you haven't told anyone? Uh, mm -hmm. Our seed phrase to log into wallets that we own. The private key, the way you get into money. That, and we will not tell anyone. Have you, why haven't you gotten in the cannabis industry? How do you know we aren't? Somebody wrote, who the hell are you? Who are <laughs> I like you? that one. Is that like an existential question? <laughs> like, who are we as humans? Or is it like, who are you? That's an interesting one. As an existential answer, I am a, am a chain of DNA floating through time, thinking that I am a conscious being and I have free will, but I'm probably some level of automaton, but I'm too narcissistic to admit it, like you. That is hilarious. But if you mean like who I am, I'm Tyler West. 
The link is on, guys. There you go. Tyloplace.com slash Solidity. You gotta be a Solidity developer. Yeah. You're looking for Solidity developers to add to our team, okay? Ty, do you hold GM Shiba? Sunday. No. How much can you bench at your, oh wait, right now I'm weak because I'm cutting. You know what I'm saying? When you cut, you like lose all your, I'm not that strong, but I mean, I can bench, I don't know, 250 or something like that. When I'm bulking, I can do, I don't know, 340, 350. But I don't like to max bench. There's no, man, unless, you ain't gonna be the strongest person in the world unless you're a big kind of fat guy. Fat dudes are the strongest. For sure. Don't ever get in a punching battle with a big fat motherfucker with big ass waist. I'm not as interested in that. Any relationship advice? What's your relationship advice for people, Alex? Don't get into one. <laughs> Joking. No, that's for actually Alex's real advice. Alex does not is not a, a huge believer. Alex is very focused on making money. <laughs> I have other interests. Alex does not. How you get all those pretty women, somebody wrote. Don't be a simp, somebody wrote. You know what a simp is? I don't simple think... ten? No. Okay, no, I don't know what it is. A simp is like a guy who like comments on a girl's, like, you look great, like who tries to suck up to her to kind of get her to like you. There's a certain class of men who play Gosh. video games and are in the metaverse that are convinced that if you ever compliment a woman, woman, you're somehow not good with women. I just like that. There's like guys that have like this totally, totally fucking, women are autom automatons, they're all identical. And I, and, and I figured it out because I follow three people on YouTube that probably have never dated a pretty woman, but they're extremely, you see how that works? They, they have no pretty women in their life, but they know exactly all they the rules. Women are complicated. I don't think it's uh, that simple. You, it's okay to compliment women sometimes. Just to just uh, let y'all know that. You don't always have to nag a woman. That, that shit becomes annoying. You know? But. Yeah. Have you been in Mexico? Okay. I have been there. So what should I do? Okay, what do you recommend someone do if they're 21 and broke? Anything with crypto? Mm, not really, probably not. If you don't have capital, don't. don't you can mess around with it. Unless you're a yeah. programmer, you you want to be part of yeah, a project. Yeah, become a programmer. Yeah. It's a great way. Sometimes when you work on a project, you get. Tokens. You get tokens for your work in addition to cash. Right. Broke is a mindset. It's also a state of your wallet. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of the, I told you, people like to think they're smart. It's like, no, it's all in your mind. I don't know. Is broke all a state of your mind? I, I would say that's a semantical argument. No capital, no women. That's not true. Someone said all women are the same. Have good posture, have money, balance your male and female energy. You get women easy. Oh, little, little Jedi wannabe. If only you knew. I like that have good posture is a big one in there. It's like, we give you three great pieces of advice on women. One, I'm gonna put this one first, good posture. That's number two. Number two, have money. I don't know, there's a lot of broke artists that just probably have already stolen the woman that you like right now with your good posture. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Just so you know, I gotta break some bad news right now. That girl you like, she is on a date with a broke artist right now. We and, did good posture. But yeah, we did bad with posture. bad posture. <laughs> the dude's just slouching. You ever seen Pete Davidson? Pete <laughs> Davidson, yeah. like, the, the, like he's like kind of slouchy. That's annoying. SNL. And even before he was, even before that dude was rich, that dude was stealing your girl. So it's not that simple. Why is your investment for credit investors? There's just a law in America on Reg D. Would it be a good idea to be an assistant for a millionaire? Yes. Someone says way to get women is be you and be a real man, not slow flake. It's not, it's not simpleton advice. Women, if you actually study science, deep science on this, you should read Dr. David Buss's Harvard Evolutionary Psychology textbook. It's about that thick. He's the world expert on mating, which is what you're talking about. Not only of homo sapiens, but of mammals. 
it's not that simple. It's a complex game theory that is a crescendo of activity that culminates in mating, but it's not so simple, okay, that how women react. In fact, women are looking for signals of exploitation by men. Men are looking uh, at looking at signals where women exploit them back, and it becomes a complex tit-for-tat game theory. That's the actual name for it, tit-for-tat. Dance, women love to dance. I know dudes, I used to be a professional salsa dancer. I know a lot of virgin dudes that know how to salsa dance. They ain't no woman wanted to sleep. They would dance with them, but they didn't go home with them at the end of the night. It's not that simple. What's the simplest way, you would say? What, what's the most simpleton advice about mating in your life experience? Alex has dated very beautiful women. Uh, when I first met him, he had, I always, I'm like, what happened to that girl? And, he had this German girlfriend in Sweden, she, uh, in San Francisco. She was pretty. And he has a beautiful woman now, too. Make sure she hears that so she doesn't get mad. But when I first met him, uh, what was your life experience? Because you dated women before you had any money. Yes, that's right. Always. Alex was born in Tehran, in Iran, and dated women there. And what got you women then? I don't know. Maybe my looks. <laughs> posture? <laughs> posture. Great posture. <laughs> it's a missing... I read it. Dr. Buss sent me a report. What country do men re say, this is self-reported, so you got to take it over the grain of salt, they've slept with the most women partners in their lifetime? What would you guess? Who can guess this? It's just a new release study. What country? Italy. No. France, no. Someone said Tehran represent. Spain. Spain was one of the lowest. I have bad news for you Spain, Spanish people. America, no. Iceland was very high, but not the highest. Russia, Scandinavia was very high. I live in Scandinavia. Japan, no, extremely low. Sweden, high, but not the highest. China was one of the lowest. India and China, basically, apparently, Humans hardly procreate there. What do you think? What country? Is it a Nordic country? Is but it, it is European. It's European. Okay. But it's not one you would get. Germany? Turkey. Oh. Apparently. What? What's the country with the least? Have some African country? No. India. India. Yes. Yeah, so, that was interesting. Interesting. Anyway, that has nothing to do with crypto. We should have a crypto coin that's there is there's been some crypto coins where you can bet on things like Augur. I always liked that idea, but they never have taken off yet. No. Why has Augur not taken off? It's a, it's not implemented correctly. I actually played with it. It's not that good. What's the other one? The poly poly market. Yeah, on poly market. Yeah, that's Augur in the US. That's what you yeah. cannot access Augur in the US. That's right. Yeah. And also poly market, I mean, is a good implementation. Is it still the same thing? It has to be like simple things like who will win the presidency? Yes. It, it, it has a panel of judges if it is becomes like. Oh, really? Like it's a it's centralized yeah. solution? It's, if it doesn't, if it's not obvious, it doesn't come from the feed or an oracle, it goes to a panel of, it says the rule, right? What is the rule? Yeah, Some people. Say who the judges are. Yeah. Somebody said India's population is crazy. It's not who has the most children, it's who has the most different partners. So you could be in India and have a lot of kids with one woman. Okay, we're about done. Alice is getting tired. Yeah, oh shit, it's two in the morning? Yeah, let's go. How do I get to be two in the morning? <laughs> All right. <laughs> do I have the, I need to get something. Okay, let me, um, shit, let me also, I need to do something. What is the original human eye color? I think brown, probably. Alex looks like he needs to be in a cartoon. Not sure what that means. Do you know what that means? No. Go to the NFT pages by Cartoon Savants. Let me, I need to get, did Nick, did Rehan send me this damn thing? Okay. What, the link? No, no for a cover for this. Oh, no. Uh, Let's shut these off. Can you shut these off, or Alex, turn these yeah. off? Yeah. All right. Let me, all right, see you all. All right, guys, We're see ya. We're slowly getting off.